All right, what is up everybody? Steve Arino here again with a new Destiny Child video. Uh, today, what I'm going to be talking about is 4-star units. I'm going to be going over uh, which 4-star units are actually worth keeping, which ones make good replacements for 5-stars uh, that you don't have, and which ones are just good on their own. So we'll start off with the ones that make good replacements, and we'll start in the uh, category of buffers. So uh, the first child that I'll be showing you is uh, Fortuna. She is a fire type supporter. Uh, she just increases attack of allies. If you don't have anybody else to put in your party, then she's fine. Uh, next up is um, Melpomene. Uh, she is a dark type supporter. And uh, she gives additional crit rate and crit damage. Um, if you don't have a Pantheon, then she's a good alternative. A Melpomene that's been uncapped plus 6 is comparable to like a plus 3 or 4 Pantheon, something like that. So, um, she's pretty good for if you need some additional uh, crit damage in there. Next we'll look at Maya Hule. Uh, Maya Hule is a water uh, supporter that can replace Chang'e. He gives extra skill gauge charge speed and uh, charge amount just like uh, Chang'e does. So if you don't have uh, Chang'e, then Maya makes a good replacement for her. So in the category of debuffers that make good replacements for others, we have Persephone. Uh, she kind of does a few things. She decreases the crit rate, she um, decreases attack, and it, uh, decreases the weak point defense of enemies. Uh, you'll want to replace her with uh, Freezia, who is another 4-star that I will talk about a little later or um, replace her with a Jupiter that you have some uncapped on. And uh, moving on to good defenders. Um, there are no good 4-star defenders. Uh, the best you got is Cybele and Hercules. Neither, neither of them are good. Um, if you have a 5-star defender, please use them. Uh, Donna and Mars are the best ones. If you absolutely have to use somebody, then Hercules and... Cybele are here. Uh, there's also Daphne. Uh, Daphne is a healer, but she also gives a barrier. So if you don't have a uh, defender, then Daphne can work as one. And uh, moving on to other four star healers, we also have uh, Merlin. Merlin's a pretty good uh, base four star healer. If you don't have anybody else, then Merlin works pretty well. And we also have uh, Celine. She's the best just out of the box base four star healer that we have. So if you don't have a decent uh, five star healer, then Celine will do the job. And I will also quickly go over some uh, decent four star attackers if you don't have any good five star ones. Uh, there is Morrigan as a dark attacker, and Artemis as another dark attacker. Uh, for a fire attacker, we have Yuna, and we also have Neath. For a light attacker, we have Victorix, and for grass, we have Amor. I don't want to spend too much time on these guys just because you really want a good 5-star attacker for your main team. Um, some of those guys will be good for world boss when the appropriate element comes up, but you really want to focus on a good 5-star attacker. So that is it for 4-stars that would replace the better 5-stars if you don't have them. Still recommend keeping most of the ones I listed uh, for world boss because you'll need 20 childs for world boss, and so a lot of them will still be useful then. And so now we'll uh, go ahead and move along to four stars that are just good on their own. So for a supporter, uh, we have Queerness. I think I'm saying that right. Um, she speeds up characters just like Chang'e does, but um, her buff actually stacks along with Chang'e. I wouldn't recommend putting her in a regular party because her buff isn't that strong, but she is useful for world boss if you really want to speed up your party. For debuffer, uh, we have Freezia. Freezia is really good, um, especially against bosses. She's very good for uh, World Boss and for uh, Ragna. She just uh, flat out decreases the defense of the enemy. And most of the top teams in uh, raids will be using her. So, uh, as for healers, we've got Leda. 
Technically, Leda is a supporter, but she's mainly used for her healing capabilities. Um, Leda is one of the best healers in the game, because what she does is she actually increases the regen amount for allies, so that they heal more from heals. So she's really powerful to have alongside another good healer, like Matt, which will just increase the amount of healing to crazy amounts. And also in that category we have Erato. Once again, she is technically a supporter, but she does heal. Um, what she also does is she removes uh, bleed and poison from allies. So she can be useful against uh, specific bosses that do a lot of bleeding or poisoning. And finally for attackers, um, we have Elysion. Elysion is a very powerful attacker. Um, she can compete with uh, Eve who is considered the best attacker in the game at high uncaps. Just like Eve, she does um, poison damage. So if you can get a lot of copies of her, then you can really dish out some damage. And as a little bonus note, um, I want to mention Lisa. Lisa is a 3-star, but she is very good for world boss. Uh, her skills just increase the attack of all allies. So when you have a team of like 20 units, then that's pretty substantial. So uh, hang on to Lisa and level her up for world boss. And uh, that's all I got for you, so thanks for watching guys. Um, if you know anybody who plays this game, please uh, share my videos with them. Uh, I want to start growing this channel as much as I can. Subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Uh, me and my friends also stream on Twitch sometimes, and I'll throw a link to that in the description. I'm also going to put a link to a uh, tier list website in the description, so you can look at other units that are pretty good. Uh, so you can help you decide who to put your resources into and whatnot. Um, any questions, leave a comment, I'll get back to you. And uh, yeah, have a great day, thank, thank you.